God bless each and one of you. Brothers and sisters, right now, people around the world are hungering for something. Either if it's for fame, either if it's for riches, either if it's for being the best of the best or whatever they want to do. But brothers and sisters, did you know how the enemy this is deceiving right now the world? Brothers and sisters, do you know what the, Satan is trying to do to all of these people? One big thing, keep them away from being saved. Brothers and sisters, there's this big deceitment that's going on. And there's these three big points. And a lot of people, this is a lot of deceitment. Either they believe or they don't believe. And here's one big thing. And here's the three things. One, there's no God. Two, there are many gods. And three, there's no such thing as heaven and hell. Brothers and sisters, I tell you, there is one and true God, and there is a heaven, and there is a hell. But brothers and sisters, right now around the world, people are thinking that they need to keep their mind on riches of the world. Riches that are meaningless. Brothers and sisters, it says in the world how the things of the world are meaningless, but the things of God is for everlasting and eternal. Brothers and sisters, Christ came to die on the cross for all sins. And brothers and sisters, we could all be forgiven. We could all be transformed and have a new heart. If we come to Him humbly and, ag and acknowledging ourselves that we need a Savior, that we are a sinner, but we need a Savior, that we have disobeyed God and saying that, I'm sorry, but I know what you came to do for each one of us, Jesus. So please, forgive me for all my sins and transform me, Lord God. Give me a new heart, Lord God. Show me your ways, Lord God, so I can live by the word, Lord God. Let me have understandings of your word. Brothers and sisters, people are right now seeking the wrong things of life. And brothers and sisters, it's not that God bothers people, but God loves us so much that he knocks that He knocks on our doors. He lets us know that he, is, that he wants to save us, that he's there for each one of us. But brothers and sisters, none of us could be saved by just knowing Christ. We have to take action. We need to do our part by repentance and by living by faith. Because brothers and sisters, we're not saved by our works, but we're saved by faith and grace. The gift of eternal life is a gift. No one could earn it. You can only receive it by faith. Brothers and sisters, and also by repentance. And then baptism is also another part of the new life. Brothers and sisters, it says after people who are baptized with water, the Holy Spirit will come and baptize them with the Holy Spirit and fire. Brothers and sisters, did you know this one big thing that's around the world? It's it's uh, it's called uh, religions. It's called, you know, trends. It's called, you know, a lot of things. And on the internet, a lot of Christians think that Christ is part of this thing and he's not. Brothers and sisters, Christ is holy, and he's sending us out to spread his gospel. So right now we're using the internet not as a platform, but as a foundation of a rock so that we could tell other people about the word of God, so that people can know that they could be saved by the Holy Spirit. It's not to receive likes. It's not to receive, you know, uh, you know, subscribers. It's not to receive followers, but to make disciples of Christ by spreading his gospel. But along with that, we need to be have a relationship ourselves or else we'll be like the Pharisees living a religion and being hypocrites. Because the Pharisees, they spend it a lot of the time, but they didn't have a heart, you know, to really pray. They didn't really seek God from their heart. They only did it because it was tradition, because it was religion. But when we come to Christ, brothers and sisters, I'm, it's not really a culture. It's not really a religion. Rather, it's just a group of faith, a family of faith. Brothers and sisters, it's it's the way of internal life. It's not some religion or it's not culture like how these people want to call it. Brothers and sisters, there's a lot of big points that hit you know the world, and I feel like it's mostly hatred, riches, lust, and power. These are some of the biggest things, the biggest points that the enemies use. And you know, John chapter ten verse ten it says the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I, Jesus, have come to give life and life in abundance. Brothers and sisters, 
God doesn't, you know, damn someone in hell or internal punishment because, you know, he don't love them. He loves all of us. But, brothers and sisters, if we disobey our Father and we don't have his spirit in each one of us, we can't enter the kingdom of heaven. We can't enter eternal life. But, brothers and sisters, if we repent from our sins and stop following the enemy's ways and start following Christ's ways, we can be saved because of what Christ came to do on in the world, which is dying on the cross for all of our sins. But three days later, he rose again. And he's right now preparing a place for each one of us so that when he picks us up, we can have a new body and that we could reign, not, but so that we could be with God for eternal life. Amen? So, brothers and sisters, which one do you want to go to? A place of of holiness or a place of suffering, a place with the the living God or a place with the evil enemy, because even the demons and the enemy knows that their time is soon to come up. They're gonna have everlasting punishment too. But brothers and sisters, the reason why a bunch of bad things are happening right now in the world, I don't know if you guys have checked, but it's been a lot of things happening on the news, a lot of murder, uh, a lot of things been happening, and it says how the enemy is the chief of this world. And that's why Christ is not of the world. And that's why Christ didn't put, make a kingdom reign out of here because of the sin. But he's going to make a new world with people that he's going to make them new. So we'll be new creation. And that's why, you know, death has to come. Because when we sin, brothers and sisters, you know, that's the consequence. You know, when Adam and Eve sinned, you know, they didn't die right there and then. But they still had to pay the consequence of sin. Same with us, but... We are going to be saved because of what Christ did. And right now, brothers and sisters, the time is now to come to him and come to him truthfully. Brothers and sisters, I hope that all you guys were really touched by the Holy Spirit. And that God speaks to a lot of you guys in this life, in this video. And I hope you know that the things of the world is meaningless. But the things of God is forever, everlasting, and eternal. Amen. God bless each one of you, and remember, Jesus loves you.